I have listed and linked absolutely everything for this project down below for you in the description box if you just open it on up, but you will need some elbows. Copper tees, which the one shooting out is going to be your shelf support and the ones that are going up and down will be the actual main support of the closet itself. You will also need tube straps because these will secure the copper pipe from underneath up into the wood shelving to give that extra security. Friendly tip, make sure you are checking your screw length because you don't want to be drilling from the bottom up and go through the top of your shelvings. So get the appropriate length screws. You will need male adapter fittings as well because this is how we are going to kind of fake it till we make it. We'll use this floor flange that is steel and spray painted copper, but this will be able to screw into it to extend it out for the copper pipe to slide in because copper pipe is not threaded. Do not forget to pick up a copper, what? Do not forget to pick up a copper pipe cutter. These vary in size. So you wanna make sure that like for me, I'm using a three quarter inch copper pipe. I get the three quarter inch pipe cutter. This thing is insanely easy to use and you do not need a lot of force. You basically just pop it on where you want to cut it. There is an arrow on it that shows you how you need to turn it and you turn it all the way until the copper is cut. When I got to Holly's, the first thing you need to install because that is going to be holding everything together are the floor flanges and the male adapters. I secured the floor flange of the male adapter that we just put together 24 inches in each side from the sides of the closet. I ensured that I was either going into a stud and if I wasn't, I used the proper drywall anchor. So make sure you're doing that because this is going to be supporting a lot of weight. I added a 14 inch pipe to each of those and also an elbow because I wanted to bring it out of the wall and over that existing shelf since we wanted to keep it there and down straight to the floor. This is where things get a little bit weird to explain because obviously everybody's closet layout is going to be different. Holly actually measured and sketched out exactly what she wanted when I was redoing her master bedroom. Since again, this is her house, her room, like I'm not living here. So I didn't want to design it when it wasn't going to be working for her and her lifestyle. So per the measurements of her sketch is exactly how I cut the piper, what? The copper pipe down. Uh, and I will put up a screenshot or a little like beauty moment so you guys can, you know, just pause it and take note of the measurements and see if it's like the layout of your closet as well since I'm not sure what size closet that you got. So basically one pole has one copper tee on it and then I added four copper tees to the other pole where one of those is level with the one tee on the other pole. Holy moly, that makes sense in three seconds. You pop those suckers right on the floor flange and that extended pipe with the elbow that we installed previously and then you square that up to the bottom of the floor. And what I mean by that is you make sure it's not like going crazy out like an angle because now we're going to be adding the shelf support, the 12 inch shelf support. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. By hammering 12 inch copper pipe pieces into the open hole of the tees that we installed. Save a buck. What you can do instead of like four brackets, one, two, three, four. You can do two and still do the shelving, but what we're gonna do is secure a one by two right underneath the shelving into the wall properly. Wood shelf that we put on top of it into those one by twos for extra security. This is just a way to make it a little bit on the cheaper side, but please let me show you how I miscalculated. So I spent way more money than I needed to. This is a miscalculation on my end but the brackets that we're gonna be securing into the wood underneath the pipe into the wood will be enough to secure everything that she wants to hold on here because this is into the studs I've only been here for two hours so this is like an easy weekend project her and her boyfriend would have to share this and she has so many clothes so does he she has a spare bedroom that she's currently transforming into a closet slash beauty room hold please it's an entire room that she threw these shelves in and I wanna turn it into her vanity. So she has this entire spare bedroom that we're gonna be transforming into the walk-in closet, which I honestly just can't wait to tackle all the rooms in Holly's house. I am so excited for this. Moving on, the shelves, I'm just doing some common board. I'm distressing them with, you know, uh, whatever I can find on hand and get aggressive with, but just get a little crazy. I think it adds some character. And I popped on some early American stain and also seal that with a satin finish that way the wood lasts obviously I'm interrupting you for a commercial break from our just incredible sponsor who we partner up with once a month, Hello Fresh. You guys know when I'm on the go with these makeovers, whether it be a small project or a large, it just saves me time and hassle with meal prep and getting some fresh food 
onto the dinner table for just either myself for lunch or my family. I love the fact that I can cook to home cook meal in 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick recipe option which that just squashes all the excuses I have of like, oh my gosh, I'm too busy to eat. You can also easily change your delivery days or food preferences and even skip a week whenever you need, which is great when you have a schedule like mine. There's honestly something for everybody, including low calorie, vegetarian, and family friendly recipes every week. And Paul's been going on and off this keto diet thing, so it's nice to be able to swap it up when I need to. If you guys want to go ahead and try America's number one meal kit, you can head to HelloFresh.com and use code 10 METS for 10 free meals, including free shipping. Like, come on, guys. Again, that's HelloFresh.com and use my code 10 METS for 10 free meals, including shipping. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for being a consistent sponsor here on the channel. You really do make so many of these projects like possible. So just a quick side shout out. Now all that there is left to do is install the shelves that we had to wait to dry completely. You wanna make sure that the ceiling is dry before you throw some clothes on there because it would be sticky and tacky. Also have no idea why this was so difficult for me. I measured to make sure that the width was the same from the top to the bottom. That way it was level. And then I'm walking you guys through just drilling a one by two into the wall underneath that shelf for support. You wanna make sure that you're adding tube straps to every single shelf support that you have and you can add a rod or however you want to design your closet and start to hang your clothes on up. Total side note, that one by two did not stay that natural wood. I went in with the black paint that she painted the closet with to match so you can't even see them. I got her a rug and this is where it's supposed to be finished, but I'm not feeling it. I feel like something is completely missing and I'm not too sure what it is. Like this looks great. I love the excess storage up there and that we kept that black. And then when you come down, it just looks great. But then when you go down here, it just looks like we're not using the most of the space. So I'm curious what Holly thinks. Her cousin is currently in labor, so she's at the hospital. I let her know I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Also, if you wanna know about the floors, if you don't seal it, it's cups so easy. But again, this was temporary for us because we're gonna do hardwood floors. I might just do another mini shelf for some leggings or more shirts right here. I'm gonna give Holly an opportunity to sit and stare at it because this is her fitness closet. So she's gonna see what she needs, let me know, and we'll come back and finish it tomorrow. I decided to add a second rod for clothes underneath that shelving to the left and I rapid fused it, but I am gonna go back in and liquid weld it for like to make sure it will not slip like it did right here and scared me half to death. We have one more room to make over in Holly's master suite to make it fully complete and that is her very small master bathroom. I love how this closet came out. I'm stoked that I was able to do the copper as a surprise to Holly for her birthday because she pinned it in her Pinterest board and I've been seeing it. So I wanted to implement something that really just made it feel extremely special. And I feel like it blends when you walk into her room with it being exposed and then seeing her master bedroom being made over as it is. I have been getting a lot of questions about where to start and how to tackle a large scale project. This one, yes, may be large scale, but it is on the easy side because you really just need a copper pipe cutter and you can get your wood cut down at Home Depot. So I feel like this is the absolute perfect beginner project if you guys wanted to try and dip your toe into something a little bit larger scale. You will not regret it. I am happy to be back uploading consistently. Sorry, I took a little bit of a break, but you will see with the amount of content that I'm about to pump out and the type of projects, your girl, she needed a little bit to gather herself. So we're back at it. I can't wait to show you what's ahead. It is so different than what I've ever done. And it's like getting gnarlier and gnarlier. Thank you once again to HelloFresh for sponsoring your girl. I can't see what room we tackle next month together. And I will see you guys soon for another DIY.